hi friends welcome back so today we will see another topic in computer vision so basically it is on a uh, cnn or convolution neural network so we will see a case study on a uh, rice classification basically there was an industry uh, case study right uh, this is something about the data set that we'll be using all the attributes uh, and all that thing now uh, before wasting time let's get a start but before that again would request you to please do subscribe the channel uh, we need more subscribers so that our team will get motivated and will keep uh, providing contents like that now starting with importing required libraries so uh, initializing the random number generator right then ignoring the warnings and then numpy as np pandas as pd of course then seaborn as SN, sns and matplotlib for uh, plotting the graphs right or visualization we can say now tensorflow backend that we are using and this is the version that we used 2.8.2 now ex extract the image so we are using os uh, basically it is required whenever we work mostly with the collab or google drive now open cv as cv2 of course whenever we will be working with images so cv2 or open cv uh, is backbone for that we can say which help us a lot now xy we are taking two lists for i in os list directory so this is the the directory that we have and the data set that we'll be using right uh this is the basically ds store so uh, this is again uh machine specific we can say for instance when you are running uh the notebook on your mac in google drive so you will need to add this right otherwise uh, this can be ignored and then using another loop so again for the same that is uh, for data set now having uh, reading all the images right from this path and uh, image cv2 so resizing the image and appending into this x and y list right now uh, if we print it so here uh, this print i has print this basmati uh, right all these are uh, type of uh, rice that we have now visualizing image from different classes so n equals to so basically uh, we are using uh, images from different labels okay plt dot figure so this is the figure size that we are defining now ij in enumerate n okay so n is basically our this image with the different label now plt dot subplot so plotting the subplot for uh, all these i right so i am show xj equals to cmap doing the grayscale now uh, plt dot uh, title so title uh, whatever it has that is format y of j plot axis of and finally plotting sh uh, plot dot show so this is basmati rice you can see this is arakadek right this is jasmine this is uh, psala this is uh, arboreo okay now converting the obtained images into arrays so xy so np dot array np dot array now printing the shape of xy so you can see that xy so for x and y respectively now splitting the given data set to train valid and test so of course we'll be using train test split from model selection now train x train well x test y train well y test so train test split xy test size 0 0.05 random state uh, uh, right stratify y now printing x train validation dot shape x test dot shape so all these necessary thing now splitting the given data set to train and validation so from uh, again the model selection if we have already included it no need to include it uh, again and again again doing the same thing for train and validation right and if we print these all uh, dimensions so this is what we get now normalizing the data set so x train equals to x train by 255 as type to float 32 similarly for x test so that means x train and x test are uh, being normalized now trying to check the max and min values so of course uh, using the max and min function to get the maximum and minimum value respectively so here you can see max and min values so this is the max this is the min similarly for x test now convert your target feature to one hot vector so y train one hot so pd dot get dummies y train y val validation one hot so pd dot get dummies y validation similarly printing shape of y train one value of y train right like that and it will print all these uh, shape and uh, one value of y train uh, like for all these uh, uh, types of rise 
now basic cnn model so let's define it so of course importing a convolution 2d flat and dense layers sequential from all these layers and model re models respectively now model equals to sequential the type of model that we are defining and now adding the layers so convolution 2d filtered 128 kernel size 3 activation relu input shape is this and similarly uh, doing this one this one this one right now flatten adding this one again dense 64 activation relu dense 128 activation relu dense 5 and activation softmax now compiling the model so passing of course all these laws equals to categorical cross entropy matrix equals to accuracy optimizer is adam if we check the model summary so for sequential you can see that these layer convolution 2d convolution 2d 1 2 3 that we have defined here 1 2 3 and then we have flatten then we have dance then we have uh, dance one then we have dance two right and this is the output shape and the number of parameter if you check the total and trainable parameter so this is what we have so approx all the total parameter are trainable parameter now fitting the model so of course now doing the model dot fit x equals to our x train y equals to y train one hot encoded batch size that we are passing 64 epoch is 5 that means for 5 iteration it will use 64 batches in each now validation data x value y value 1 hot so here you can see that uh, after all these epochs so this is what the loss we have 0 0.03 which is uh, good for this now the validation accuracy we got as 97% now loss and accuracy so of course uh, the model dot evaluate x value y value one hot so here you can see that for uh, evaluation this is what we got uh, the loss and this is the accuracy now accuracy and loss plot so similarly uh, using all these accuracy validation accuracy then loss and validation roll or loss defining the uh, get number of epochs right from this accuracy now plot dot plot so uh, training accuracy validation accuracy then training and validation accuracy then legend we are passing loc as a lower light than figure similarly for plot uh, training loss validation lot for this epoch loss and the upper right that loc and training and validation loss so first check with this one that is training and validation accuracy right so here you can see that this blue one is our basically training accuracy which uh, has increased and similarly for validation accuracy uh, after one uh, point it started increasing now similarly we are using training and validation loss so here you can see that the loss is keep fluctuate uh, like high low then start getting high but the training loss you can see that is stable kind of now saving the model so of course we are doing a cnn dot h5 that model dot save and the model dot save weights so cnn weights h5 so that we can use whenever we want now uh, we can also do pickling if required right now load model so again loading model cnn equals to load model cnn dot h5 so predicting and visualizing the test image so again use importing the same thing which is uh, not necessary as we have defined it at the top and we have defining numbers that is 125 now plt dot title so the title will be the rice name right uh, image show that will show the uh, image or the rice image now y prediction model cnn dot predict x test and reshape this one softmax output y prediction sum convert the predicted probabilities to labels so labels equals to uh, our borio basmati ipsala jasmine right and uh, this karakadag uh, this is the order in which the data set is uh, read now for i in y prediction for j k in enumerate i if k equals to y prediction dot max print predicted label labels softmax output so here you can see that for uh, predicted label jasmine right can we call this so it has predicted is that jasmine so this is how uh, the classification works and basically this is how you can uh, do your own classification with your own data set now here adding few more parameters to make the robust model so we can see the ever one is our base model now we are uh, using fine and tuning to uh, improve our model performance so again 
uh, vanilla cnn and pooling plus dropout will be applying so i can uh, defining the layers now add a max pooling layer of size 2 by 2 so this is what the max pooling layer and using the drop out of uh, 0 0.2 probability rate now flatten and all these things like dance one dance dance one dance two now model dot compile so loss equals to categorical cross entropy matrix equals to accuracy optimizer equals to adam model dot one dot summary so this is the sequential convolution 2d8 convolution 2d9 2d10 2d11 uh, drop out flatten two dense six dense seven dense eight total parameters this one now fit the model so tr history one equals to model one dot fit x equals to x train y equals to y train one hot batch size equals to 64 epoch equals to 5 validation data x value y validation one hot so this is what the epochs that we have and this is the validation accuracy 0 0.97 from the uh, first epoch but the last you can see that 0.9748 right loss and accuracy of course this is the loss 24 percent and this is the accuracy we can say 97 percent now accuracy and loss plot so again using the same method to print our uh, plot that we used earlier now training and validation accuracy so this time you can see that the training accuracy has decreased but the validation accuracy has impacted here right and similarly for training and validation loss for loss you can see that again the validation loss has increased and again the same training loss is kind of stable here as well now saving the model again doing the same thing model dot save and similarly model dot save weights and uh, and now again we are using uh, we are loading the model so model cnn normalized so this is basically our normalized model that is cnn 1.h5 now if we try the prediction here as well defining the same function like plotting first and after that defining our label whatsoever labels that we have and doing one in y prediction i in y prediction for jk in enumerate so if k equals to equals to y prediction dot max so predicted labels so it will predict the highest predicted levels right so again you can see the jasmine right and this is what the softmax output we have so yeah friend this is how you can do the classification this was example of rice classification you just need to update your data set that's it otherwise uh, you will get slight ideas that are how to achieve this right yeah friend this was all about this video i hope you liked it uh, if yes please do like share and please subscribe it so that we'll meet uh, in the next video very soon till the till then all the best have a good time take care